that you never even knew you needed it and carried you in the most precious of ways and told you everything will be all right and you're absolutely going to make it. This is your moment to tell them you appreciate them. Graduates, make some noise for your support structure. Family, friends, and guests. Graduates, over to you. Now, for the last time, all of us together, let's give it up to the class of 2024. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, that's how a graduation should start, isn't it? Yes, I can see in your faces that the blood is running all over the body. It's proper. This is a graduation ceremony. Welcome. Welcome. Hartelijk welkom aan elkeen van u by hierdie maartglare plechtighede van Universiteit Stellenbosch. My naam is Bantu en ek doen die aankondigings voor ons amtelijk begin met die ceremonie. Baie dankie vir die aandag. Moloe nie en wakwe mini jy. Nam kele kele nonke, kolom si to wat wali soos tanga, wale universiteit stellen bosch. Ik kam alam di ngubantu, ay kok kala kom si to oku, di manje kukwenza izazi so ezimbalwa, pam kok ba kukalo ngo kusem tetuen, enko si ngo kun boleka inzebezen. Good afternoon everyone, a very very warm welcome to all of you to this March graduation ceremony of the University of Stellenbosch. My name is Bantu. And I kindly request your attention as I share a few important announcements with you. The toilet facilities are here behind us, and you can get there by first exiting the hall and then entering from the side. All toilet entrances are clearly marked. There is also a bystand beskikbaar, and the help and work must not be given to any of our direction officers to nader nie. We also have medical assistance available. Please, if you need help, don't hesitate to approach any of the ushers. Any lost and found items can be handed in at the information kiosk, the information kiosk in front of the venue. If you have lost something, you're welcome to inquire there. In the event of an emergency evacuation of this venue, please proceed calmly to the exit closest to you and congregate on the rugby fields between the Darnie Craven Stadium and this hall, and that is to my left-hand side. Please follow the instructions of the safety officer and campus security staff. For our Muslim graduates, friends, guests, and family, we have a prayer room available in the sports sciences building behind this venue. That is to my right-hand side. Should you wish to make use of this venue, an usher will guide you there. Now, I already asked you to give them a resounding round of applause, but I would like you to help me again in giving them a massive acknowledgement. Allow me to introduce to you the musicians tonight, the musicians, the University of Stellenbosch Symphonic Wind Ensemble, conducted by Pamela Kierman. Our vocalists are Session Johnson and Jason September. Distinguished guests, help me in giving our musicians a warm round of applause. The presiding officer at this ceremony is the Chancellor, Justice Edwin Cameron. Graduates, listen carefully. When we get to the awarding of degrees, please walk up to the dean and hand your announcement card to the official. Then, after your name has been read, walk to the presiding officer, bow, and then allow for the hooding by the registrar and turn around for acknowledgement by the audience before you proceed to the end of the stage. This is a special piece of advice I'm giving to all of you with those beautiful long hair, beautiful long locks, hair on flick. I'm sure salons made millions this time around with all of the beautiful hairstyles that you are rocking here today. When you get on and you get to the presiding officer and you bow, remember to tuck your long locks behind your left ear. Remember that? Left ear, because the photographers over there have set up the cameras and they want to 
sure they capture the moment properly so that you can go hang it up somewhere nice and remember this special occasion, all right? Members of the audience, of course, you are also welcome to take photographs, but we ask that you please switch off your sound and your flash and that you do so for the duration of the ceremony. Each and every graduate deserves their big moment, and I think we'll all agree that they've all worked very hard to get here. Therefore, we kindly request that you do not leave the hall before the whole ceremony has been concluded. And now that I've gotten you into the rhythm, I hope and I wish that that good old noise pollution will continue for the entire duration of the ceremony and that you'll clap and celebrate with every single one of them because this is a truly special occasion. Once the procession has left, we respectfully request that you exit the hall swiftly so that cleaning and preparation for the next ceremony commence as soon as possible. We ask that you please take along any waste items such as water bottles, tissues, etc., and dispose of these safely in the bins outside. The official photographers have set up a studio in the sports science building behind this hall, that is to my right hand side. Graduates and their family and friends are welcome to make use of this service and capture the moment. Also be on the lookout for the Marty Shop mobile unit for purchasing Stellenbosch University branded items to remind you of the successful academic journey that we are celebrating here today. And at the end of the ceremony, we invite you to the alumni clubhouse at the stall. You would have seen graduates that you've received a little gift from the university, a little alumni pin. Wear that with pride wherever you go. We've got over 33 alumni chapters all over the world. So we are welcome we welcome you to our global network of Marty alumni all across the world. Wherever you go, wear it with pride and find your people so that we connect with you wherever you are. But at the end of the ceremony, please come home to your new home as we induct you into the global network of Stellenbosch University alumni and join us for a glass of something something as we celebrate this momentous achievement with you at the alumni clubhouse at the Stahl, and that is to my left. In adherence to Stellenbosch University's sustainability principles and also to foster responsible resource usage, each graduate has been provided with a graduation publication. For guests, family, and friends who have received a QR code that can be scanned, which will take you to the online version of that very publication. Click on the link that says 25 to 28 March to receive the full program of this ceremony. And here's a piece of good news. I know many of you would have loved to invite many, many more friends and family and loved ones and guests, but to not leave them behind, this ceremony can be followed via live streaming, live, right now, from anywhere in the world. And also those ones, the naysayers, the haters, the detractors, and all of those jealous ones that said you would never make it here, right? Make sure you add some pressure and some pain and share this link with them to gloat and to celebrate fully because you deserve it. The website to share with everybody for, to follow this proceedings live is www.sun.ac.za forward slash streaming. You are welcome to share your graduation experiences on social media and the hashtag to use is SUGrad, hashtag SUGrad. Ons is bykans gereed om die plechtigheid te begin. Ons vraag dat die sal opstaan vir die akademiese prosessie en sal blis staan tot nadat ons die nationale lied gesing het. Lied klesha log bakal weng om sito. Si tela wonke om to apagame nge klesha kongena is twalandwe e holwen. Sime njalo ukuze kutulwe um hobe we sizwe. Distinguished guests, feel it. The moment of truth has arrived. Your special moment is here. Please rise for the academic procession and remain standing until after we have sung the national anthem. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon. We start our proceedings with a rendition of the national anthem, ons begin ons verrichtinge met a weergave van die nationale lied. Please be seated. Ons muzikante gaan ons nou verlaat. The orchestra is going to lead, leave us now. That's the Stellenbosch University Symphonic Wind Ensemble, which was conducted by Pamela Kiernan. Pamela? And we congratulate the vocalist, Jason September. Bye, Dankie. Hiermee verklaar ek, krachtens die mond 
wil my toe vertrou die die statuut van die universiteit, dat die die congregatie van die universiteit hoorlik saamgestel is. So hierby declare that this congregation of the University of Stellenbosch has been duly constituted. Before we proceed, let us take a moment to reflect, net daar waar u sit, each in our own way, but ons eindig eie geloofs en oortuigings raamwerk, uh, what has brought us here and what is going to bring us joy, what is going to enrich our lives when we see these wonderful young people in just a moment processing all across the stage. A gewaide oomblik. We have some particular guests on the platform. I'm going to introduce the officiating dignitaries in a moment. The Amstelaars wat deel van die ceremonie uitmaak. Maar intussen het ons een voormalige voorzitter van die raad, Dr. Paul Kliever. Waar is hy, Dr. Paul? Daar is hy. Welkom hier besonderlijk. Baie dankie. Dis baie moeilike werk. Dr. Paul Kluwer chaired the council for a number of years, and it's an arduous task which we honor him for. Thank you. And then we have SRC representatives who are members of council and of senate. The senators, the universiteits hoogste akademiese instelling, all the professora with representatives from unions and staff associations and students, including the chairperson of the SR, Ms. Pibokuhle Kabaka, and the vice chair, Ms. Abongile Kutu. Mr. Reagan Johnson, and Mr. Mbano Sebande, and Mr. Mzwaki Polotina. There we are. Please welcome them as well. And in addition, we have online guests. So I say that to remember, graduates, doctorates, when you come across this moment, it's being broadcast across the world and it's being recorded. So grasp your moment, you've worked for it. I hope some of you will do a dance or show your joy in other ways. You see this, that lady there who's gonna get a doctorate, she said, no, we're gonna, encourage you particularly to do a dance, ma'am. So do enjoy it. Uh, my name is Edwin Cameron. Ek is die kanselier. Dis a titulare pos. It's a ceremonial position, which means that I do all the nice things and don't have to do any of the horrible things. I became chancellor about five years ago when I retired as a judge. I was a judge for 25 years. And I took on two post judge jobs, the one is as inspecting judge of prisons, but the beautiful job is this one, where I look forward to coming down and part of the joy is this kind of occasion. On my left, we have Professor Sibusisu Moyo, who's standing in for the rector, please welcome her. And we also have the registrar, Dr. Renel Retief, in the adjunct registrar, Dr. Penny van der Bank, welcome all the work summer. We have the acting dean of agri-sciences, agri who's Professor Kenneth Dama. Welcome, the acting dean. <laughs> Professor Dama had to be persuaded and coerced this afternoon, just before we came on, to assume his cap, his academic cap, and we're very pleased that you agreed to wear it. His colleague sitting right behind him said, you can't grant the degrees and diplomas this afternoon if you're not wearing a cap. So let's cheer for him as well. Is he sicker he will not have a cap back in you, Professor? Yeah, we'll see him there. And then we also have the Vice Dean for Teaching and Learning, Professor Marek de Toy. Very welcome, I'm glad you don't meet. Ons is een veeltalige universiteit en dis nou my trotse plig om een theologische professor, professor Kolile Simon, 
te vragen om voor ons allemaal een uur te te verwelkom. Ik ken die zou aan die zon naar het zabam fuchane. Ze kon er eens in de wind waar ze zo dat ze is amkel. Na geen damkel, abba zali, abba fund in abba som. Namkeli kile ab. Nemo zulo yafuma. Tamaku kubaku polile. Tamaku. Tibule la nakumbi abba zali, naba sobo. Den katalo yenu. Nen zenite, naba kasa abba fundi. Kandi kwa kona naba tandazel. Kuba fundi betu bonke zeninga yeki. Kuba silapa ngenga yenu. Impumulu yeni ikwa yetu. Nochmals, nochmals, welkom. In Kosi, Professor Simon. So we have a wonderful ceremony. The reason why the acting dean wears his academic hat, the reason why we are wearing our robes is because this is a momentous occasion. It's the passing on of knowledge and skills and commitment and learning. And we rejoice in the beautiful graduates this afternoon. They join 233 thousand Marty's battle fight, 233,000 people across the world, mostly in South Africa and in Africa, but also in all the other continents who have got qualifications from this university. And I'll speak to them later after their degrees about becoming alumni of the university. We have 33 alumni chapters all over the world. This faculty has graduated in the last year 511 students which adds to the total of almost 9,000 graduates from Selimosh University in the academic year of 2023. And the Agri-Sciences faculty has a particular distinction. It records its highest number of postgraduate qualifications ever, well over 200 postgraduates. So a considerable achievement under the leadership of Professor Jama and, and the dean for whom he's standing in. We all know Boudrae agriculture is vital to the future of our race as humans and very important to us as South Africans. The skill and the science of agriculture is vital to our continent and becoming more vital as, as, uh, as climate change if affects us. It's our connection to the earth and our connection to our future. So our graduates are going to pave the way where agriculture will be secure, where food security will grow, and where we will find answers to the problems besetting us within the climate. There's no decans, Professor Dharma, explained it It's now our opportunity to rejoice in these wonderful young people who are going to cross our stage. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer on the candidates whom I present to you the degree Doctor of Philosophy in the Faculty of Agri-Sciences. The supervisor concerned will give a brief outline of the dissertation. Ms. Anka Berry with Supervisor Professor Problete Echeverria. Mr. Chancellor, in this PhD thesis, we developed new technological tools that were used to deploy methods for mapping variability in vineyards with the aim to improve the monitoring of water stress and canopy conditions, which are key parameters to define quality and yield in modern viticulture. I request you to confer the degree on Anke Berry. Heinrich Yankees with Supervisor Professor Van Royen. 
Meneer de Kanselier, the impact of trade dynamics and socio-economic transformations on the competitiveness of the deciduous fruit canning industry in South Africa were investigated. A stravistic approach grounded in new trade theory and a redesigned Michael Porter model was applied with performance measured by the normalized relative trade advantage. The industry sustained high levels of competitiveness since 1961 outperforming many competing agro-industries. Uh, a seven-point strategic plan was proposed to enhance the competitiveness of this industry. I request you to confer the degree on Heinrich Jankis. Jenna Brian Cholife with Supervisor Dr. Lashbrook. Mr. Chancellor, the candidate, candidate applied a variety of molecular, histological, and chemical analyses in order to elucidate the cellular regulatory mechanisms involved in grape berry surface formation during fruit development. This resulted in the identification and characterization of a transcriptional regulatory network integrating surface formation and fruit ripening. I request you confer the degree on Jenna Bryony Jolliffe. Caro Cap with Supervisor Prof. Lan. Mr. Chancellor. The local study underscored the challenge of achieving sustainable apple production, revealing that cover crops fail to suppress harmful nematodes effectively. Emphasizing the crucial role of soil health, the research highlights the need for standardized nematode extraction methods and for industry-specific strategies to improve long-term sustainability in fruit orchards. I request you to confer the degree to Karuka. Eugene Lawrence Latikhan with Supervisor Dr. Hoffman. Mr. Councillor, the study investigated how the combination of deficit irrigation strategies and grapevine canopy manipulations influence grapevine responses. The impact on yield, wine quality, and economics were investigated. The study evaluated the grapevine water requirement model that has been used for 20 years and made recommendations to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the model for future use. I request you to confer the degree on Eugene Lawrence Latigan. Matija Leskovic with Supervisor Professor Dutoy. Mr. Chancellor, copper additions and swirling wine glasses were assessed to mitigate reductive of odors in white wines. Copper reduced H2S levels, the main cause of reductive aromas. Swirling enhanced tropical attributes of varietal thiols by evaporation of H2S. This study yields new insights into reducing reductive aromas in white wines. I request you to confer the degree on Matea Leskovic. Musima Mabitsela with Supervisor Dr. Piri.
Mr. Chancellor, this study explored the feasibility of soilless cultivation for the underutilized Bambara groundnut. Results revealed its potential as a climate smart crop, showcasing its resilience to drought and salinity while posi positioning it as a nutrient dense crop. This interconnected findings are crucial for promoting sustainable and resilient agricultural practices contributing to future, future food security. I request you to confer the degree on Musima Mamiahabo Mabitzel. Rumbizai Trust Matenda with Supervisor Dr. Williams. Mr. Chancellor, a chemical imaging method was developed for rapid identification of pathogenic listeria on agar media and beef meat. Analysis of distinctive light signals and chemical signals allowed the differentiation of various listeria species. This innovation holds the potential to expedite food safety checks, enhancing protection against foodborne illnesses. I request you to confer the degree on Rubidzai Trust Matenda. Rebecca Matovella, uh, Professor Stradom will read on behalf of Supervisor Professor Mapier. Mr. Chancellor, the study evaluated pig production on small farms in Cape Metropole. They found that the health, the pork production, and quality attributes of pigs raised on small uh, older fa urban farms were less desirable compared to large-scale commercial farm standards. And this was attributed to farmers' socioeconomic circumstances and the adoption of unsustainable farming practices. Mr. Chancellor, I request you confer the degree on Rebecca Mamakone Matubela. Eileen Mayer, uh, Dr. Hoffman will read the declaration on behalf of Supervisor Dr. Fonsell. Mr. Chancellor, the water requirements of apples near Grabau were investigated. The candidate found savings and better root growth by using longer irrigation cycles. A model based on root length density were developed to predict the water use of young trees. She also proposed the water status of the trees itself as a tool to schedule irrigation. I request you to confer the degree on Eileen Mayer. Onai Ruvimbos Ongile Mtengwa, Dr. Chuma will read the declaration on behalf of Supervisor Professor Swanepo. Mr. Chancellor, Bambara groundnut is an underutilized crop that can be an extremely important crop under climate change conditions. The study investigated the cultivation, utilization of Bambara groundnuts, it explored the social cultural dynamics, the disparities in yield and drought tolerance among land races. It also devised a systems thinking roadmap for mainstreaming efforts in South Africa. I request you to confer the degree on 
Unai Rubimbo Sbongile Mtengwa. Zwanda Netavani with Supervisor Dr. Van Ash. Mr. Chancellor, this study has focused on one of the most important edible insects in Southern Africa and utilized genetic tools such as phylogenetics, phylogenomics, population genetics, phylogeography to assess the conservation status of this important wild resource. The conclusion was that Small bunny worms are indeed of concern with regards to their sustainability over most of its distribution range. I request you to confer the degree on Zwanda Netavani. Adrian Jacobus Olivier with Supervisor Professor Leslie. Mr. Chancellor, this study explores how environmental factors drive behavioral changes among giraffe populations in and between two different landscapes in Zimbabwe. It focuses on, population, on giraffe population dynamics, diet, activity patterns, and movement behavior. Results, or results will contribute to the compilation of a nat national giraffe conservation strategy for Zimbabwe, which will also be used as a management tool in other giraffe ranges in Africa. I request you to confer the degree on Adrian Yakubas Willifi. Sebastian Helmut Olt with Supervisor Dr. Hayward. Mr. Chancellor, this study utilized visible and shortwave infrared spectral data to classify barley varieties and pre harvest germination before and after imbibition. Significant spectral differences enabled high accuracy classification when employing data fusion methods. This non-invasive monitoring approach has practical implications for malting barley quality control, offering a valuable industry tool. I request you to confer the degree on Sebastian Helmut Ort. Yes, Chimwemwe Tembo with Supervisor Dr. Piri. Mr. Chancellor, the study investigated the consumption and sustainability of tuba orchid species known as Chikanda in Zambia. Findings revealed partial sustainability in Chikanda value chain at social and economic levels, highlighting the need for conservation measures. However, despite international protection, Ongoing wild harvesting raises concerns about potential orchid extinction risks. I request you to confer the degree on Chimuemwe Tembo. Tendo Stanley Chilate with Supervisor Professor Roda. Mr. Chancellor, the sustainable utilization of marine living resources is important for the development of the blue economy. The South African abalone is one such resource that is threatened in the wild. The slow growth rate of the species, however, impedes optimal production. 
establishing the first draft genome and high-density genetic map uncovered key genes involved in phenotypic development. This understanding of growth will facilitate accelerated genetic improvement, advancing aquaculture in South Africa as an alternative to wild harvesting. I request you to confer the degree on Tendo Stanley Shilate. Vincent Malizu Kiswe Fatu with um, Supervisor Dr. S. Peters, but the declaration will be read by Dr. Ludorf. Mr. Chancellor, we must produce 60% more food by 2050. Neomic technologies are vital to this. We identify genes involved in photosynthesis from the pigeon pea, an important food security crop, expressing them in tobacco. We showed improved photosynthesis, higher sugars and starch, and more total biomass. We wish Vincent Malizuki Swevartl only the best on his new journey as a permanently appointed academic at the University of Limpopo. On Sven's Vincent Malizuki Swevartl Neri die beste toe, op sy nieuwe avontuur as een permanente personeellid by die Universiteit van Limpopo. Si kunkone leila o kusle, kodwa Vincent Malizuki swe watu. Kolu hambul wako, lucha, njengom slosli, o tleswe isi kina ku university yase Limpopo. I request you to confer the degree on Vincent Malizuki Swe Baku. Feynant Jakubus van Jasfors. Supervisor, uh, just indulge me for a second here. Feynant Jakubas van Jaasveld, Supervisor, Dr. Lennox. Mr. Chancellor, grapevine trunk diseases threaten rootstock mother vine production, impacting on yields and phytosanitary status. This study examined factors influencing the lifespan of rootstocks, rootstock mother vines, including morphology, physiolo physiological, and fungal incidence aspects. Results highlighted the adverse effects of grapevine trunk diseases and their pathogens and, necessi and the necessi necessity of proper management practices to mitigate these risks. I request, request you to confer the degree on Veinand van Jaasveld. Jana van Rooyen with Supervisor Professor Manley. Mr. Chancellor, wheat starch plays an important role in baked and other products. Roasting of wheat was shown by Jana van Rooyen to significantly affect the physical chemical properties of flour using near infrared spectroscopy and ANOVA simultaneous component analysis. Time domain NMR relaxometry experiments provided insights into the molecular dynamics of starch water systems during um, heating. The use of these techniques is suggested for serial-based research. Mr. Chancellor, I trust you will allow me to mention that Jana, as she stands here, is only 25 years old. Oh. She completed the PhD in only three years after her first BSc degree, 
During this time, she performed research in five different countries over a period of 12 months. And moreover, her entire thesis has been published in high-impact journals as two review and four research articles. And with that, Mr. Chancellor, I'm extremely proud to request you to confer the degree on, from now onwards to be called, Dr. Jana van Rooyen. Elrita Fenta with Supervisor Dr. Lennox. Mr. Chancellor, post-harvest decay impacts significantly on the sustainability of the South African pomegranate industry. This study focused on the identity of pa such pathogens causing dis decay and the efficacy of current and improved control strategies. Previously unreported post-harvest pathogens were identified. The candidate has provided a sound base for improved post-harvest decay management in pomegranate fruit. I request you to confer the degree on Alrita Fenta. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the following qualifications in the Faculty of Agri-Sciences, the qualification Master of Science. Our first candidate, Ilka Alda Adendorf, cum laude. Fakri Arnold. Alida Chinita Jacoba Badenhorst, cum laude. <laughs> Keegan Scott Clark. <laughs> Karin Elizabeth Kluver will be hooded by her father, Dr. Paul Kluver. <laughs> cum laude. David Karum Derman will be hooded by his father, Professor Wayne Derman. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Natalie Luke Ingrid Gilchens. Abongile Chaki Feni. <laughs> Barrett Yakuba Shrobla, cum laude. <laughs> Herbus Roger Hamish. <laughs> Mikhail Marhaber Havinger. Marcel Keat, cum laude. <laughs> Michel Chalice Kotza. <laughs> Emil Thomas Majewski. <laughs> Heike Muller, cum laude. 
no mfundo smangele shangi. Danai Stolz Cum Laude. Megan Tebas Cum Laude. Michaela Tobias. Anshin Wolf. The degree Master of Science in Agriculture. Caitlin Abdul. Beatrix Namulo Arwindo. Luis Pestibi. Jared Michael Borden, cum laude. Johannes Petrus Beuter. Nicole Justin Klassen, cum laude. Peter Anthony Coldy. Sarah Jane Davis, cum laude. Marina Duplessis, cum laude. Scalp Willem Duplessis. Lambert Carl Jr. Engelbrecht will be hooded by his father, Prof. Lambert Engelbrecht. Bradley William Featherman. <laughs> Louis Velric Fourier, cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Megan Frayson. <laughs> Shemaine Sandy Gandiwa Mudede. Sandra Iris Hall, cum laude. Annika Kirk uh, will be hooded by a father-in-law, Prof. Lambert Engelbrooks, cum laude. Anne-Marie Krikla. Jason Nathan Lagaguri. Sipom Kredi, cum laude. Sinakom Tresi. Guy Alistair Master, cum laude. George Philippus Nell. Ushen Gindi, cum laude. Zolani Nklokwana. Alana Mura Olifie, cum laude. Luca Angelo Oselli. <laughs> Iman Parker. Andre Joseph Siechmuller. <laughs> Ernelie Stein. Brandon Sutherland. Alexia Tomasi. Ontuela Princess Silatsila. 
Mkanyisi Chelio. Carol Johannes Farmisha, cum laude. Chad Kurt van Veig, cum laude. Robert van Veig, cum laude. Master of Science in Forestry and Wood Sciences. Katushelo Dombo. Simeon James Cock. Carl Kutzer. Ayanda Mfanafuti Matenjwa. Michael Steve Muller. Kenan Colin Neft. The degree Master of Science in Conservation Ecology. Zara Khan. <laughs> Alisa Little, cum laude. Jean Fantonda. The degree Master of Science in Food and Nutrition Security. Mania Donatian Diambra. <laughs> Cheru Erika Isol. <laughs> Alice Peary. <laughs> Anne Smith. The degree Master of Science in Food Science. Margaret Ellen Kusta, cum laude. <laughs> Mia Olga Schutt, cum laude. <laughs> Marie van Feig, cum laude. <laughs> the qualification Master of Agriculture. Victor David Mouton. <laughs> Sydney Jamie Stringer. <laughs> the degree Bachelor of Science Honors. Hendrik Andre Barnard. <laughs> Mapaseka Gladys Litave. The degree Bachelor of Agricultural Honors. Luke John Flint, cum laude. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Forestry and Wood Science. Spiwe Mfeka. <laughs> the degree Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Jessica Arbetain. <laughs> Jessica Claire Barton. <laughs> Beatrix Louise Taylor Borchers. <laughs> Lulo Palesa Bulo. <laughs> Joshua Joseph Kaywood. Christian Berger Kutsia. <laughs> Gift Reitumu Setlamini. <laughs> Abdul Kadia Khan. <laughs> Jakobas Johannes Nicholas Lawrence. <laughs> Carla Lowe. Nathan Philip Magaman. Yeah. Abongile Mbele. Yeah. Noctember Happiness Mtalane. 
Zandile Victoria Mtembu. Chantel, Chantel Rose Glovu. Peaceful Nchangase. <laughs> Petru Poole. As a routine shake. Kiniso Sianda Sitole. Anna Anna Margareta Smith Jason David Stevens Stefan Ace CJ Van Fake The degree Bachelor of Science in Forestry and Forestry and Wood Science. Rufenko Rudy Fisaki. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Food Science. Nicoline Lowe. The degree Bachelor of Agriculture. Willem Petrus Drea. <laughs> Pascal Hans Uzoma, IKG. <laughs> Hendrik Johannes Extien. <laughs> Stephanus Johannes Herhort. <laughs> Johannes Schubey. Philippus Petrus Leroux. <laughs> Sesona Mushali Cum Laude. <laughs> Kanyo Mohube. <laughs> Sizeka Mpupu. <laughs> Peloka Zinumfembe. Malan Owachen. <laughs> Hannah Alexis Schreiber. <laughs> Luke Van der Hazen. Mr. Chancellor, I request you confer the respective qualification on those candidates whose names have been pre presented to you but who could not attend in their absence. I verleen hier mee die Onderscheid graden en kwalificaties aan die kandidaten wie zijn allemaal mij voorgelezen, maar wat vanmiddag niet in woorden gaan wees niet in absentia. I hereby confer upon those candidates whose names have been placed before me but who are unable to attend this afternoon their degrees and qualifications in absentia. Professor Zama was so flank geweest that I think that it's short. We don't see it at half seven, a bit of 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 a Are there any families who didn't cheer enough? Ah, come on, we, your chance is now to cheer again. For your br brilliant children. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wonderful. 
years. Didn't you think that the doctoral candidates, wasn't it fascinating what they studied and what they contributed? Let's cheer them particularly. And now I'm going to ask, I want you to cheer one particular category. Wie van jylle het vanmiddag nie gedink jylle sal het ooit hier haal nie? Which of you thought you wouldn't make it? Ja. There we are. I, I ook, meneer. Dokter. Cheer the ones who didn't think they'd ever make it. En dan wil ek vraag. Wie wil vanmiddag erken dat hulle by tye alleen by die lesnare traankie weggepink het? You work. <laughs> Selfs van die dokters kandidaten, I asked who had to wipe away a tear late at night at their desk. Let's cheer the ones who cried as well. So it's been a wonderful event. Thank you for making it a wonderful event. But I also want to ask the graduates, which of you received particular love and support and cups of coffee and money? Which of your parents struggled to pay the fees? Which of you, even when you were on NESFAS, how many of you were on NESFAS, by the way? Yeah, you were on NESFAS, but your parents and your family still contributed. Don't you want to get up and thank them particularly? Yes, please. <clears throat> This E. And he can opstaan. Please get up and, and greet them. He can opstaan, meneer. Ja, alsjeblieft. Greet them. So with this joyful occasion, we admit to the cadre of Marty's all over the world, 230,000 of them, and I mentioned earlier, 33 alumni chapters. It's important for this university that you stay in touch, that you pass on the strength and the pride in your qualifications. One day, when uh, you have got yourself comfortable, you'll even contribute to the university so that other people who are sometimes as disadvantaged as you will be able to come to Stellarge and study here. The current Vice Chancellor, Professor Wim de Villiers, he started a very good innovation based on what some Americans do, which is a homecoming weekend. This year it's 12 to 14 September. Come to Stellenbosch, there'll be lectures, there'll be reunions, there'll be parties, there'll be meetings. So come to Stellenbosch for the homecoming weekend. Look on the website of Marty Lunt to find other graduates, if you go to a job interview or you might have a job interview yourself, you want to check the person that, that uh, is coming for the interview, you'll be able to find a lot of information on the Martin Lant website. But this afternoon, you go across, in this beautiful day, it's been a wonderful day, go across the sports field here to De Stoll, and there you will find refreshments. And I know none of you will want to have any wine or bubbly, but there will be both, they'll all just stand there. Gaan u glas daarom drink, mevrouw? Ja, u sal. Ok, nou het ek, die kanselier het net twee machte, the chancellor has only two powers, to convene a congregation of the university and to dissolve a congregation of the university. So now I'm going to exercise my second power. After I've done it, we're going to leave the stage, we ask that you stand as we leave through the procession. And by virtue of the powers vested in me as chancellor, I hereby declare that this congregation of the university has been properly dissolved. Ek verklaar, hiermee krachtens my machte, dat hierdie congregatie van die universiteit behoorlik tot die einde gekom het. Baie dankie.
Thank <laughs> you.